Okay, we continue the form menu and reach to camera. This is camera. And as you can see, a grid will be appear in the direction of your view. And you can deform by changing that point. Okay. For explain that, I inserted a sphere and increase the subdivision, change the type of the sphere. As before, for assigning the deformer to the object, you have to hold shift and click. But in this camera, it's not necessary, but it has to be child of the ob desired object. If you go into the setting of the camera uh, deformer, you have to assign a real camera to the deformer. Deactivate it. Here, you can insert a camera. I'll be explaining the camera in detail. Don't worry, but you here can, <clears throat> you can assign a camera. As you can see, the box will be appeared. That is our camera. If you move your scene, you can see your uh, camera that's inserted here. When you click on this icon, you go on uh, the view of that camera, or if you click again, you get out of that. First, you have to active that camera. You have to go in that camera, and we, we are in a view of the camera. If you get out the camera, this is our default camera. So, for using deformer camera, we have to go on camera, go in a deformer, activate that, and you have to assign <coughs> or define the camera here. You can select either upper or you can simply click and drag the camera on this box and everything's done. Here you can change your grid or uh, begin to deforming. For deforming that everything is ready, go into the point mode. As you can see, if you change these points, you can def uh, deform your object. For better deforming, right click and use a brush. Change its radius, <coughs> change its size, and simply, oh, sorry, simply click and drag. As you can see, you can deform your object with brushing that changing that points that grids as you can see you can change it deform it any going to the camera you can define or increase or decrease the grid for more smoother result control z be careful about that Okay, this is deforming. If you going out the camera, as you can see, it's really deform the object <coughs> in the front of the camera. It's interesting if you click going to the model mode and going to move tool, if you change the position of the uh, sphere, as you can see, if you go in the camera view, it deform and it's interesting. Going to the camera again. For activating the grid, we have to select the camera because in a draw grid, we set it to the active. It means when you active the camera, it will be show the grids for you. If you want to show the grid, always click on always. If you click on anything, that will be always on your screen. But you need to have to be in that camera. In a hierarchy, it means when you, for example, click anything else, it will disappear. If you click the camera deformer and its parent and child, it will be appear here. I prefer that means that will always show in me here. And that's it. You can change the strength of your deform like this. And this is safe frame. As you can see, if my I resize this screen here, this is the safe frame. As you can see, yeah, this is. In the output in a setting, we set the width and height, and this is exactly HD. And uh, it show us the frame. And if you uh, untick or deactivated the safe frame, it all the grids going all through the scene. If you want, you can activate it. 
And okay, this is camera deformer and it's interesting. And we have a field like other deformer that I explain you in detail in next lessons, but you can refer to the bend deformer in the previous lessons. I explained a little about the field. If I want to explain cloner after the, uh, for example, uh, modeling tools, mesh, when we reach the cloner, we, I explain the field in detail for you. There are really complex settings there. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.